Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. It's that time of the week again for me to just say hello to you and to invite you to come to tonight's service. My friends, I tell you, these are some unusual times. And I, I, these are times, to be honest with you, they're times which test men's souls and it tests what we believe and what we know. I, I'm here to tell you today, we're living in a time where you really can't trust simply how you feel. You most certainly can't trust what's being told to you in many cases on television. And many of the talking heads, they all have their agendas and they're all vying for your mind and for your attention. Things that should be addressed in a uh, proper manner, in a pure manner, now are being tainted with politics, politics, politics. And, uh, and all of these things are going on, my friends, in these days in which we live. But I'm here to tell you, I'm here to remind you, I'm here to convince you that the glory of God is still the glory of God and that the earth is still filled with his glory. As the prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter six, the Lord is on the throne and the Lord is watching over us. And you know, I've been in a teaching dealing with the foundations and the uh, the Bible says that the foundations be destroyed. What can the righteous do? Well, I'm going to answer that question. But before I get to the answer, because there is an answer, there is something that we can do. Now, we've got to fight to maintain our foundations. We need to keep the two parent family intact, husband and wife. We need marriage, uh, the family, uh, the, uh, the, the religion. Oh, I'm concerned, I'm concerned that 67% of America's churches are yet closed. And when, if you go by the news, now if you go by the news and you believe what they're telling you, and if the virus is supposed to be spreading the way that they're telling us that it's spreading, then uh, you might want to go and just open your church because keeping it clean, uh, closed don't seem to be uh, 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 doing anything to lessen the spread. I believe that it is vital that we meet in the house of God call, and call on the God of the Bible and ask for mercy and ask for mercy. I'm not saying that gathering together is without risks for there are risks involved, but driving to work is, uh, is filled with risks. Driving to the grocery store, there are risks. There are risks in society and in human life. But I tell you, my friends, gathering to worship the Lord is worth the risk. There is something that we can do as we fight for the foundations. I've been talking about the foundation of uh, education and uh, the Lord has blessed us real good and we're moving from education now to the foundations of government and law enforcement and I have some things that I want to say to you tonight uh, that I think will bless you real good so my friends join me here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ tonight for Bible study that's right Bible study. We're going to study the word of the Lord together. And you know, uh, uh, we're just a, a day or so away from uh, 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 the birthday of America. We're about to celebrate the 4th of July. And, uh, and I have some things that I want to say to you about that. Uh, there are just so many things. There's so many things. There's so many things. So you want to listen in. You want to tune in, whether you are joining us by YouTube Live, Facebook Live, or here live in the service. And uh, we have some interesting announcements that we're going to make, even with regards to that. So, uh, my friends, God's doing some great things. I'll see you here tonight for Bible study. God bless you. Stay safe. And serve Jesus Christ with all of your heart.